I'm Bailey Kissinger, I go to St. Cecilia, I'm a junior and I play basketball. Alright, well you girls uh, went to state, uh, had a great tournament, ended up not winning, state obviously lost to North Bend at the last couple seconds, but nothing to bow your head on, talk about that team and what it meant to get to state this year. I mean, not a lot of people thought that we would make it to state, just losing four starters from last year and coming in and having four new starters. And I think our first game against Scott is just losing that game. A lot of people were like, oh, they're not going to be very good. And then we just continued to get better throughout the season. And we all knew we were going to be good. Like, we had confidence in each other, we had confidence in ourselves. And just to make it to state, I think it proved a lot of people wrong. And then to make it all the way to the championship, I think it just showed how much we've gotten better as a team and how hard we've worked throughout the season. I know you're not one to look at your own individual stats, uh, more of a team thing, but you had over 20 points in that North Bend game. And so, um, you know, it, it was a tough game. They had some good, good defense. You girls had some good defense. And so you just kind of took the story on your own shoulders there and did what you could. Yeah, I mean, any time that we play postseason game, I think it's just you got to do what you got to do to help your team win. And in that situation, I was just trying to do my best to help us win. And I think playing at State, it's a uh, a great accomplishment and I think just playing under the big lights, playing in a great atmosphere. I mean, I, I love playing at State, I love playing in those big games. So I think it was just easy kind of for me to have confidence to go out there and do what I could to help us win. Catherine Hamburger, you're only senior on the team. I guess, uh, you know, you would have liked to win it for her, obviously, but the highlight is you're going to have a lot of experience back next year and hopefully get to the big stage again. Yeah, I mean, losing Catherine's going to be huge. She did a lot of things for our team on and off before. I mean, she was a great leader. She was a great scorer and she was a great defender and she was always could calm us down if we need to be calmed down and just always knew what we needed to do and but coming next year I mean we have a our whole group of juniors is back and our underclassmen I mean they got so better throughout the season this year and they're going to just continue to get better over the summer and then throughout next season so I'm really excited for what we can do next year. Now uh, personal goal this year any uh, goals that you set statistically or work on defense or anything like that have, have you met those? Um, I think mostly I could shoot the ball a little bit better and we're just going to continue working on that so I can do that next year. But I think defensively, I mean, we all had a good year defensively. Our team was great defensively. And so I think we met all those other goals. I know you girls all respect each other on the court. I know you take a little bit of a leadership role too, along with Catherine, where you kind of, you know, maybe know the situation, especially at state. And I saw you delegating a little bit. The girls were listening and it worked out. Mm -hmm. I mean, once we get to the state tournament, I mean, everybody's going to do what they can to win. And whether that's um, me and Catherine giving the other people, our other players just a little bit of advice or our coaches giving us advice, I mean, everyone's going to listen just because we want to win. And no matter who it's coming from, I think we're all um, ready to learn from anyone if it's going to help us win. And I think that just me and Catherine being there, um, we're able to guide the um, other players who hadn't necessarily had state-type experience. And I think it worked out really well and they were um, – very able to learn from us and listening, they were listening to us. Off the court, do you girls do any kind of fun things together, watch movies together, do you do eat before a game, after a game, any kind of ritual branding like that? Yeah, we, we have team meal a lot. Um, we love team meal. <laughs> um, our parents do a great job of making meals for us and we just always spend time together. I think um, on the weekends all of us hang out too. I mean, it's our teammates are our best friends, so we spend a lot of time together. Cool, very good. And then, uh, do you do any other sports as well? Uh, I play softball in the spring. Softball. Or er, fall. Fall. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. Softball is fun. Mm -hmm. No track though for you. No track. Okay, so you're gonna rest and relax and get ready for softball season then. Yeah, I actually play summer or basketball in the summer, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we start up pretty soon. Very good. Going into your senior year, obviously you want to get to the big stage again. Uh, maybe any personal goals you have set for yourself? I mean, you're a great shooter, so I don't think you need any work there. Um, I think going into senior year, we're just gonna. Enjoy it. I mean, it's gone by so far fast already, and you always hear like, oh, it's going to go by so fast, but you don't really realize it until you're done with your junior year and you only have 27 more games left, and it's it's crazy. I mean, it's flown by, and I think next year, just like coming off of this past year of losing in the championship, I mean, it was a great accomplishment to get there, and no doubt that we know that. I mean, we're very proud of how the season went for us, but next year, I think we're all just going to try and get back to state, get back to the championship and win it to go out our senior year on top. Cool.